Let's take a look at solving equations with variables on both sides. A by request video. Whenever we have equations that we're asked to solve, our goal is going to be to get the variable all by itself. When the variables are on both sides, our first step is going to be to get them all together. So as we look at our first equation here, we have an x over here, a minus 7x, and an x over here. We want to get them all together. It doesn't matter which side we choose to put them on, but sometimes it's easier going one way or the other, depending on if you like positives or negatives. I like to get rid of the negatives if possible, so I'm going to get rid of this minus 7x. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and do the opposite. So if I have minus 7x, to get rid of it, I can go ahead and add 7x. Remember, if we're working with equations and we do something on one side, in order to maintain the equality, we need to do it on the other side as well. So add 7x over here. Then we bring down what we have left. x, remember this is 1x. We can think of it as 1x. 1x plus 7x gives us 8x. Bring down everything else. So plus 14.8 equals 102. All right, now this equation should start to look a little bit less scary. We've got all the variables together, and we want to go ahead and get that variable by itself. We'll start by getting rid of this plus 14.8. Well, how do we get rid of a plus 14.8? We do the opposite, subtract 14.8. So we're going to subtract 14.8 on both sides of our equation. So minus 14.8, both sides, and then we go ahead and bring down what's left. 8x equals 102 minus 14.8 is 87.2. Okay, now we're almost there. The x does just has this 8 with it yet. Remember when there's a number written with a variable, that means multiplication. So to get rid of multiplication, we do the opposite. That's division. So we're going to divide by 8 on both sides. So divide by 8. The 8's cancel here, of course, and we're left with just x, which is what we want. That's our goal when we're solving. 87.2 divided by 8, and we end up with 10.9. Okay, remember, if you want to check it, if you don't believe me, you can always take that 10.9, put it back into the original equation, and both sides should turn out to be equal. And I bet you they would. I don't have a lot of space here, so I'm not going to show that right now. Next up... Let's take a look at this next one. We have 3 plus 5m equals 8m minus 9. Again, we've got variables on both sides of our equation, so we want to get them all together. Let's get rid of the 5m's. To do that, we have a positive 5m. Get rid of it, we subtract those 5m's. Remember, do it on both sides of the equation. Bring down what's left. These 5m's are gone, so we just have 3 equals 8m minus 5m, if we have a pile of 8m's, we take away 5 of those m's, we're left with 3m's. So 3m and then minus 9. Alright, now all the variables are together, so we want to get rid of the stuff that's hanging out with the variable. Starting with this minus 9. How do we get rid of a minus 9? Do the opposite, add 9. So we add 9 on this side, add 9 on this side, and we go on down. 3 plus 9 is 12 equals, bring down what's left over here, the 9's are gone, bring down the 3m. Now, the m is almost by itself, we just got to get rid of that 3. Remember this is multiplication, so we do the opposite, so we're going to divide by 3 on both sides. 12 divided by 3 is 4, and all we're left with here is m, which is just what we want. So, m equals 4. Again, you could put it back in and check it. If we want to do that, we can just do it mentally here quick. 3 plus 5 times 4 is 20, so this side's 23. Over here, we have 8 times 4 is 32, minus 9 is also 23. 23 equals 23, so we know that our answer is correct. Let's take a look at another one. Up here, we've got 5y minus 2 equals 28 minus y. Again, same story. I'm going to sound like a stuck record here. We want to get all our variables together on one side or the other of the equation. I don't like negative, so I'm going to get rid of this minus y. 
by doing the opposite which is going to be adding y both sides of my equation so plus y on both sides 5y plus y remember that's 1y is 6y's minus 2 equals 28 now we have our y over here so we want to get rid of the other stuff that's on this side of the equation remember that equals sign is sort of like a boundary when we we're talking about the sides of the equation we want to get rid of that minus 2 how do we get rid of a minus 2 do the opposite so plus 2 both sides bring down what we have left 6y the 2 stuff cancels out and that's going to be equal to 28 plus 2 is 30 almost there got to get rid of that 6 it's being multiplied by the y to do that we do the opposite so we're going to divide by 6 both sides of our equation 6's are gone we're left with just y equals 30 divided by 6 is 5 again you could check your answer last one this one's got a little bit more stuff going on with it and we're gonna have to do something else first and that is combine like terms on each side notice we have a 4 a 3x and then a minus 6 here we have a 3x plus 2 and then a minus x so let's combine what we can on each side first so let's just think that we have sort of a divider here okay and we're gonna look at what's on each side and combine like terms first so 4 plus 3x minus 6 what can we combine we can combine the 4 and the minus 6 and 4 minus 6 would give us negative 2 or minus 2 so we'll bring that down so we have 3x minus 2 on that side then over here we've got a 3x and we've got a minus x we can combine those things 3x minus, remember this is a 1x, subtract, we get 2x plus 2. Now, we're kind of in familiar territory. We've got an x over here, an x over here. We want to get them all on one side or the other. Let's get rid of the 2x's. If we have 2x's, we want to get rid of them. Do the opposite, subtract 2x. So minus 2x on both sides of our equation. 3x minus 2x is just 1x or x. Bring down what's left, minus 2 equals, this stuff's all gone, plus 2 over here. Alright, then our x is almost by itself, it's just got this minus 2 with it. To get rid of that minus 2, do the opposite, plus 2, both sides, bring down the x, that's all that's left, 2 plus 2 is 4. All that we're left with is the x, so that's our solution, x equals 4. All right, remember, when we're solving equations with variables on both sides, first thing we need to do is make sure that we've combined any like terms that we can. We saw that in this last problem. On each side of the equation, take a look. Can you combine anything? Are there any terms that have the same variable or any constant terms, meaning terms with no variables, that we can combine? We did that. After you do that, then you get all the variables on one side or the other. Doesn't matter which side you go with them, just so that you get them all together on one side of the equation. Then it just becomes our good old fashioned solving equations. We're going to get that variable all by itself by doing the opposite of the stuff that's sitting there to get rid of it. Hopefully that was helpful. Good luck.